In this video, I'm gonna give you an example of how an advertising campaign comes to life, starting with the client brief right through to the ad going live. At each stage, I'll show you what's expected of the strategist, what your responsibilities are, and what you might deliver and present along the way. Step one, the client brief. Everything starts with a client brief. This should be a written document from the client outlining the business problem. It includes things like the objectives, any background on the project, practical things like budget and timing. I always ask my clients to do a briefing in person or on Zoom so we can chat about the brief because there's always things that haven't been written down. I also like to ask questions like, what do you think the answer is? And what have you been inspired by lately? In this case, I'm gonna use a mock example of a cookie brand who are looking to grow. They've identified that they're target audience purchases the cookies only for their children and are looking to expand this so the parents eat them with the kids. In the brief, they've included what success looks like, which includes an extra million packs of cookies sold and a lift in the brand perception is a brand the whole family can enjoy. They've also given us a budget for the media and production and timing, which will align to an in-store sales activation. Step two, writing the strategy. Now you've received the client brief, the strategist's job is to develop a strategy that will solve the client's problem and inspire the creatives to concept an effective idea. In this case, I remember listening to a podcast about a dad who did all these really creative activities with his children, creating great memories. But I also remember thinking that as an influencer, he had time, which most middle-class families don't have. I also found some research which showed our target audience were likely to have second jobs. And while they wanted to spend more time with their kids, they were often too busy or too exhausted to have meaningful time with them. This leads to a really effective strategy about removing barriers. How could the cookie provide some inspiration for cheap and easy things to do with the children to build great memories, taking the hard part out of it? It's a bit like sometimes the hardest part about cooking dinner is deciding what to have. Once you have the inspiration, it's a bit easier. So this approach would be presented to a client in a presentation for their feedback and approval. In this session, I might finish on a get who to Dubai as a summary of the strategy. In this case, get overworked parents with young children who want to spend more time with their family but don't have the creativity or energy to create new family memories through simple fun experiences for the whole family by taking the hard part out of the mental load. Step three, the creative brief. Once the client has approved the strategy, I write the creative brief. Check out my other video for how to write a creative brief, but here I'm taking my presentation and condensing it right down. I'm also shifting who I personally am talking to. This is no longer for the client, but rather the creative team. I wanna provide them with a springboard of inspiration as well as direction. This is where I also develop my single-minded proposition. For this project, it might be something like sweeter family memories made easier with us. Remember, a creative brief is something creatives work to, not from. So I'm open to how they might take my strategy and build on it. Step four, reviewing concepts. After some time, the creative team will share back concepts in an internal creative review. Normally a few options will be on the table and as a team we'll discuss and debate which we feel are the strongest. Here I'm looking for the ideas that will resonate with the target audience and also deliver on being effective. At this stage, I'm also trying to be as helpful as possible, building on the ideas and giving some thought starters on how the ideas could roll out across multiple channels. Step five, the concept presentation. Once a handful of ideas have been shortlisted, I'll work with the creatives to help prepare the presentation. Sometimes this involves crafting a little write-up, including an insight for each creative direction. For each idea, you often show some examples of how it will come to life on specific channels that will be in the media plan, or extension ideas on how to make the ideas work even better. We'll present this to the client for them to choose a way forward. Step six, production. Here is where most planners take a step back while the concept is turned into ads. Where possible, I like to stick as close as possible. Without getting in the way, you can stay across decisions and be a sounding board for any questions that come up. What you don't want is your concept to be undone by something small that could have been addressed in the edit. Of course, nothing is ever that simple. In the real world, there's changes to your budget, client, feedback, work that needs to be tested before it goes live, but that should give you an idea of how advertising is made and the role of the strategist in bringing it to life. Thanks to Strategy Finishing School member Zach Martin for helping to create this video.